every time, that's easy. I can just tap on it and type. Just like that. Now let's look at Synergy and email. Once again, I have a single list of all my email accounts. I can look at all my folders from one of these accounts here, or I can focus on my favorite folders in this group here at the top of the screen. We've even given you an all inbox folder, so you can go to a single place to check all your new messages. Of course, email works just like you expect on the desktop with attachments and inline images and everything. If I want to compose a new message, that's easy too. I just tap the one button. And because we're coming from multiple accounts, we always let you choose which account you actually want to send the message from, although we'll set the appropriate one automatically based on whether you're replying or what inbox you're looking at. Now, I can type an email address straight up, and as you'd expect, if I start typing, we automatically start searching through contacts. But with Synergy, we're searching through all of your contacts across all those different accounts. So all your email addresses are brought to your fingertips, regardless of which account those email addresses live on or which account I'm sending the email from. And the best part is, if we don't find that contact in one of your accounts, we automatically start searching your corporate exchange database over the air and put the results right in the same list. Now, one of the most painful parts about email on mobile is that you're really locked into one thing at a time. If I want to look at another email while I'm writing this one, I'd have to hurry up and send it off or save it as a draft and dig up my drafts folder again. Well, cards on WebOS means that I don't lose my rhythm. If I want to look at another email in my inbox, I just flip back to the inbox card. I find the email I'm looking for, and as many Compose windows as I have open are sitting there waiting for me. I can pick them up whenever I want to. I'm not locked into one activity. I can flow between reading, replying, composing, just like I'm used to on the desktop. Now, here's something I kind of wish I had on my desktop right now. At the top of this email, of course, I see who it came from. And thanks to Synergy, I see Kate's photo from Facebook. I see that she's online as well because of that I am status dot. So if I tap on her header, I can get to her contact card, and I can easily decide I want to send her an I am message. It's really that easy to flow from one type of communication with a person to another type. Contacts with Synergy acts as a kind of hub for all types of communication. And the power of that hub is accessible to all our applications and, of course, all third-party applications as well. Now, let me show you Synergy and messaging. If I back out from uh, my conversation with Kathleen here, I can see my buddy list. And by now, I bet you can guess what's special about this buddy list. Just like contacts, calendar, and email, it's all my instant messaging accounts in one list. I've got my GTalk buddies here. I've got my aimbots here at the top with their status messages, their icons, everything I expect from the desktop. But Synergy doesn't end there. We took the great threaded SMS experience that we introduced on the trio. And we've combined it with instant messaging to give you one chat, one messaging app for all your conversations. If I switch to my conversations view here, I can see in chronological order, I am conversations and text messaging conversations in one place. But we had to go even further than that because you're trying to have a conversation with a person, not with an IM address or with a telephone number. And sometimes people leave their phone at their desk charging or, you know, close their laptop to go between meetings. So if I want to respond to Kate here, um, I don't want to start a new conversation over SMS. Just like I did in calendar and email, I can tap on the header, choose another contact method aggregated through Synergy, 
and now send her a text message. Just like that, I continue a conversation that started in IM over SMS. This allows me to focus on the person, not on the technology or even worrying about how to reach them. So that's synergy in messaging, in email, in calendar, and in contacts. But as John said earlier, not everything can be solved by a flick or a gesture. Sometimes you need to do a lot of input. We've given you an amazing keyboard with Pre here, but it's useful for more than just typing and jamming out emails. We can actually use it to navigate. So let me show you how that works. Since we're here in the Venetian, everybody says I should go see the Blue Man Group. I could swipe open the launcher and start flicking through my applications to try to find that icon, but I'm going to let the keyboard do the work for me. I'm going to just start typing Blue Man Group. I type the letters B, L, and the launcher slides up automatically. You can see it found an application that matched B, L, the Bluetooth control panel, and it also started searching my contacts. It found Amy and Michael. If I keep typing, type the letter U for blue, you can see here Michael expanded open and all the ways to reach Michael are now instantly available to me just by typing. And that's what we mean when we say pre seems like it's thinking for you. It's not about making guesses about what you might do because we all know how frustrating that is when the computer gets that wrong. It's about intelligently presenting all the appropriate options wherever and whenever you're doing it. If I keep typing blue man group, you can see that find drawer at the top opened up because WebOS didn't find any matches on the device. So now it's given me options to search off the device on the web, Google, Maps, Wikipedia. If I want to do a web search for blue man group, I just tap Google and the web browser will open up in its own card with my search results right there. I don't think about finding applications or even which application I need to find. I just start typing. And this is the fastest way to find anything on the device or on the web. Now, of course, the web is really important for us. So we made sure WebOS had a terrific browser. And it works just like you expect from the desktop. You can see the web pages the way their author intended them to. Let's go take a look at the Blue Man Group Las Vegas website. You tap on a link, and here it comes up, just like I expect to see from the desktop. Now we make it really easy for you to zoom in and focus on what you're interested in. So we can just touch like that. Yeah. And really easy for you to zoom right back out, get context, focus on something. Yeah, order online It's definitely what I want to do. But of course, there's more to browsing the web than just rendering the web pages properly. With so much we want to do on the web, with the way we surf from one thing to another, you really need to kind of do more than one thing at a time. So we allow you to have as many web browser cards open as you want. If I want to open another card while I keep my Blue Man Group card open, I just tap like that, open a new card, and you'll notice it's not a blank card. Right here are all my favorite bookmarks with big, beautiful icons, probably the things I want to choose. And my URL bar, I can type in a straight up URL or do one of those web searches I showed you a minute ago. Let's look at SFGate. And there we are, just like I expect from my desktop. Now, websites like this have a lot of text. And you know, sometimes, Sites with a lot of text are a little hard to read. Sometimes you want a wider view. So we use those sensors that John talked about earlier to automatically detect. Say if you turn the device sideways like this, screen rotates automatically. And now even my dad could read this. 
Screen works just like you expect here with all the zoom.